Hi and welcome to Casey's colonoscopy blog. I'm going to talk about my experience of a colonoscopy and share a few tips to make it a little easier and less daunting. I want to give a more positive account so that people will be more reassured about a colonoscopy than I was. A colonoscopy is potentially a life-saving procedure and I want to reassure people that the actual thought of it is far worse than the experience. As soon as I found out that I was going to have a colonoscopy, I spent hours researching it on the internet and ended up terrifying myself. My son called this doom scrolling. The problem with this is that people tend to write about their negative experience of colonoscopy, which could end up putting people off having the procedure. I've always suffered from IBS symptoms, but this time the abdominal pain was worse than I'd ever had before. Initially, it lasted for a week and then returned a week later and lasted for a further month. I visited my GP and had a blood test which showed high inflammatory markers in my blood and a FIT test which is a pool test which detected hidden blood in the pool. And so I was referred for a colonoscopy within two weeks to eliminate bowel cancer. And so my story begins. For the five days preceding the colonoscopy, you have to follow a low residue diet. The hospital provided me with a list of foods that you can and cannot eat and a suggested menu. Basically, it was a fairly bland low fibre diet. Although this was outside my comfort zone, as my normal diet is high in fibre with lots of fruit and vegetables, it wasn't that difficult to follow. However, I didn't find the diet particularly vegetarian or vegan friendly, so I will be doing further posts with some menu and recipe suggestions. For the 24 hours before the colonoscopy, you must strictly follow a clear liquid diet. You can have flat lemonade, herbal and fruit teas, cordials and fruit juices, strained broth, fruit ice lollies and boiled fruit flavoured sweets. However, you must not have any orange, red, purple or dark colours as this may stain the bowel. The laxative I was given was Moviprep. I had to make this up in two times one litre solutions and it had to be drunk in a four hour window. So one hour of one litre prep, one hour of water, followed by one hour of one litre prep and one hour of water. Here's three tips before you drink the solution. Tip number one, make up the solution an hour before it is required and store covered in the fridge as the cold liquid is more palatable to drink. Tip number two, pour the solution into a wine glass to drink it. It makes it appear less overwhelming. And tip number three, pamper yourself in a bubble bath before you start to drink the solution. Tip number four, you'll need to use lots of petroleum jelly to protect your skin. So the day of the colonoscopy inevitably arrived and I can't tell you how terrified I was. I felt like I was going to my impending doom. However, from the minute I arrived in hospital, the staff were amazing at putting me at my ease and they took the time to listen to my concerns about having the sedation and the painkiller and they suggested that I had the cannula fitted and that if at any time during the procedure I decided to have the sedation or painkiller, that they would stop the procedure and administer it. So I felt better about that. And in the meantime, they offered me gas and air, which I was happy about because it meant that I could administer it. And it so the staff distracted me by asking questions whilst the nurse fitted the cannula. And before I knew it, I was laid on my left-hand side in the fetal position. The nurse 
instructed me on how to use the gas and air and I had a practice session during which time the consultant inserted the scope and it, it wasn't painful at all it just felt weird I felt like I wanted to poo but the nurse assured me that this was just a feeling and that I wouldn't poo because the bowel was empty. So I used the gas and air when the consultant was manoeuvring the scope around the first bend and I was asked to lay on my back. In fairness, I didn't use it because I was in pain, but because of panic. I was able to watch the progress of the scope on the monitor and the staff talked me through what was happening. After 15 minutes, they told me they had reached the end of the bowel and that they would begin to withdraw the scope, but they would be taking a more detailed look at the bowel as they did so. Throughout the procedure, they blew air into the bowel, which I couldn't feel, but it did make me pass wind virtually constantly. And I was only asked to hold the air in whilst they manoeuvred round each bend. They also flush water into the bowel, but again, I couldn't feel it. I only used the gas and air one more time and that was right at the very end because the consultant turns the scope 360 degrees before withdrawing it and although this wasn't painful I could feel it. This is me immediately after the procedure. The whole procedure took only 25 minutes and I did it without sedation or pain relief apart from gas and air so I was able to leave after 20 minutes or so. The thought of the unknown was far worse than the colonoscopy itself. The most discomfort I felt throughout the whole procedure was having my blood pressure taken before and afterwards. My advice to anyone who has to go for a colonoscopy is please go and have it. It may save your life and it isn't going to be as bad as you think it's going to be.